Hey guys, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you convert can convert an image to a grayscale image. And uh, here's an example of a grayscale image. And this is what we'll be making today. So now let's make it. First of all, you gotta have uh, Visual Studio or Visual Basic opened, and let's create a project, and I name it YouTube grayscale converter and uh, now I will create a folder which is named grayscale converter and I'm gonna import a class I made let me find it for you guys I use this in go extract icons if you wonder and here in this class I'm gonna show you the code first of all it uh, it's a function as you see here and it uh, by the uh, input image as image so yeah converts an image to grayscale the image to be converted returns the input image but with grayscale uh, I forgot a dot here sorry and now it uh, copies the image or just uh, generates a bitmap of it and then creates the BMP data which we're gonna edit and then gets the pixel bytes and then all this stuff and this is what we need to multiply to get that and blah 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 so you may not understand it but anyways uh, now we're gonna set the settings to whatever you want I'll just set it to the default settings as you may have seen in my tutorials which I set to and then this to null and yeah so here the here is the form nice and clean let me just show it how it is, is like here it is the test form so now we'll be adding uh, where is it where is it uh, yeah a text box oh, on oops what was that what the oh no yeah uh, oops I created two so now we're gonna create a text box on the top and a button on the top left and yeah so I just drag it over and uh, rename the text box to txt path and uh, set the archer to top left right and rename the button to button open set the archer to top left uh, no 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 only left no top right I mean so we can do it like this and then I'll uh, add two picture boxes for preview previewing the the image and I'll leave some space because I'm gonna show you what I mean after on or later on or whatever yeah so I'll just try to make it to the middle as good as possible mm, yeah what the one only one pixel I could do this. Let me see here if I take it to 300 and move it one forward, then this to 300. So yeah, haha. <laughs> it's wow. What the 300, 300. I don't really know what it is like that, but I'll just leave it as it is. And then I'll set the size mode to center image so it gets centered. And then center image again. And then I told you that I leave it space, some space, because I'll add one more button which says save. And then, or it's normal to have this at. Yeah, I add a close button too, just for fun. I don't really know why I did it. Anyways, I'll rename this to button save and this to button close. So now we have to set some settings and uh, leave this at the same and this at this and we also gotta rename the picture box to PB uh, what should die yeah grayscale and this to PB color so now when we reset uh, 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 you may see that yeah 
precise. Or yeah, that's only one bug, but that's that's not that much. Or we can set the minimum size to this, so it doesn't so they doesn't crash. I mean, as you see, yeah. So now the uh, oops, I forgot one thing. Sorry. We have to set the border style so we can see it. And uh, here is the form, as you see, yeah. So now let's oops 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 <laughs> open image. Let's uh, oops uh, open image dot dot dot. Yeah, and then on this function, first of all, I just want to add one function or sub, as you may call it, that says open image bible path a string <coughs> so that works now on the button click we'll add uh, we need to use the uh, open file dialog I mean so as new op oops open file dialog not open access and then set the title to whatever you want but I'll just choose this please choose and an image to be converted we and then dlg dot uh, filter equals uh, 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 yeah all image files and then uh, we yeah the png is the one the p and G um, if I take this and dot G P E G I don't think it exists anymore or it doesn't or yeah G P E G and G P G is the same. What the quack I forgot one thing. Uh, yeah and the uh, GIF Oops not big <laughs> GIF and uh, what, what, what BMP of course and yeah I'll just leave it as it is now and DLG dot uh, file name equals selected file name and as you see now there comes a blue line because I forgot to do it or add it I mean string yeah and then if so no oh, DLG dot show dialog equals windows dot dialogsult okay then open image and the path what a smiley face <laughs> no oh 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 I forgot one thing uh, 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 dot file name I mean sorry <laughs> and then we're gonna set the select file name to path and then pb color dot image equals image dot from from file equals no pb color dot image equals image dot from file and selected file name and then here comes the tricky tricky part I mean dot image equals you know we've just added the uh, the class which is named grayscale converter and the uh, function is this so we just type in grayscale converter dot color image to grayscale image and the input image is image dot from file and the file name is path as you know and now when that's done the function is done <laughs> That makes sense, yeah. So let me see now. We have uh, added the button open, which goes uh, to the open image. Ah, 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 I forgot one thing. Yes, uh, we also gotta change the txt path dot text equals path, or just this. So I'll uh, set this to 
green only and uh, this to white so it doesn't look green only but it is and now here on the open air uh, let me do something uh, let's just take print screen which is a button on a keyboard and open paint and save it to blah I don't know just save it to something Did I forgot something uh, no no I didn't I didn't yeah maybe tiff yeah anyways here's the blah image and let's open it the blah and here you see it's grayscale all the image is grayscale so now we gotta add these two functions the close is not that advanced it's just one one line of coding and that's me that close and the save is also one but it's a different one and it's uh, yeah pb grayscale dot image dot uh, 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 what the I forgot one thing. Sorry. And now change it to sci file dialog and a title. Please choose. Uh, please enter a file name. And uh, filter is gonna be uh, what the. Yeah. Uh, dot path dot get uh, extension and the select file name yeah mm. or uh, yeah I think he put it and uh, then da, 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 and this so doesn't get weird so yeah uh, and dot file name equals what the wah I found a bug I knew it and it's gonna be this just io dot path dot get file no get file name with extension so it's gonna be this and uh, when the dialog the so now da, 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 then the pb grayscale dot image dot save and let's save it to the glg dot file name and also selected file name is gonna be glg dot file name so now let's try it out open image and the blah we just created and save it you have to see here it's png blah 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 to do 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 and blah blah blah, blah, blah it's here as you see grayscale it's nice and clean grayscale so that's good so as you see here everything works it gets the file name and yeah so thank you all for watching and I'll hopefully see you next time bye